All right, guys, welcome back with another video. Um, I said I was gonna make a, a chocolate video. Oh my God, Mitchy, you Um, well, I already showered, but I like to shower every day. I'm gonna shower today too. Wear my cool Xbox shirt because we gotta support. Uh, so before I get into the whole uh, <clears throat> what my thing on the video is. Sooner or later, it's going to be like an Activision logo here or something. If they make new Xbox shirts, probably. Because these are like all the ones that um, Xbox bought off. Well, not bought off, but like most of these are already Xbox. And then obviously the Creeper Xbox bought. They bought the JoJo, whatever the hell his name is. They bought him off. Gears has always been an Xbox thing. Obviously, these other ones, I don't know. I don't remember, I forgot this one and this one too. But obviously, this is Xbox exclusive. And sooner or later, probably like an Activision because I heard that they bought them off. I'm not sure. There's always, there's just two sides to the story to it. There's no fully confirmation on if they did it or not. But a lot of people are saying that they already did, and if they did, then I'm uh, just saying, like, that would be crazy if you see Activision right here. And what would come across the next, like, would they get involved with PlayStation, or would they not have them? Because, you know what I mean? Like, they, we don't like PlayStation. Well, they don't like PlayStation. And PlayStation doesn't like Xbox. But there's certain games, like, for example, like an Epic game from Fortnite. There's PlayStation and Xbox, and Xbox owns Epic Games, so it's part of, like, Fortnite as well, too, in a way. But, um, well, that's what I was saying, like, with the still involved uh, PlayStation playing with us still with the next card, probably, probably not. It could work both ways, because, obviously, Xbox could just bypass this whole Call of Duty thing with Activision. And make it like PC and Xbox only or Xbox games only. And they can still make a lot of money like that. Plus all the previous payments that PlayStation did with COD points. Kind of screwing that over. Or they could just make them play too. And obviously if they buy stuff off the COD store. It will go directly to Xbox as well. And not just PlayStation. So yeah. I don't know. It could work both ways. I, was just, I just wanted to say that. It's crazy. Um... So yeah, oh like I said, um, it's been crazy this this whole week and stuff. There's good news, there's bad news. I don't know. It's is it's crazy. It's crazy. We're already on February. We're gonna hit the my. I don't even remember the date right now. Hitting my birthday very very soon, which is crazy because this these weeks months years go too fast but anyways um today i'm gonna be trying uh these bad boys here i'm not good at <laughs> reading stuff like that l mark or whatever i think you guys seen these i never seen these in my life um i thought this was a new product at albertson's but apparently these been out for three years or more I'm not really sure. The last video I saw was in like three years. So I thought it was like a week ago that they made these or some shit like that. I don't know. It doesn't say new or anything. It just caught my eye because it says uh, ghost pepper. Um, it's weird because you, you never see a product like that with this type of uh, burrito kind of brand. Like they're used to somewhat chili burritos or like basic burritos that you can eat. Um, I'm not really a big fan of this company because of how their burritos taste half the time but these look really interesting and different um i have the microwave and i have one that's a mighty hard shell so um i want to try the difference between the two uh, probably, i'm pretty sure there's gonna be a difference or maybe not then that's excellent um i like that it's already it looks already deep fried compared to the others the other ones are like more like a white color these look deep fried. 
and apparently into these ingredients and i didn't read it because i was just like i'm just gonna get this because it says ghost pepper i literally just got it because it said ghost pepper um it says bean rice chicken flavor and chimichangas and then on top it says ghost pepper obviously on the top um so and then it says made with real cheese i mean real chicken six percent Six grams of uh, protein and fresh baked tortillas. So that's what it says. Um, a lot of people say it's good. I don't know. I'm going to find out. I'm going to try it off with the microwave one. Microwave one first. Uh, I did it for like a minute and 30. This one I did it in 400 degrees on the air fryer. And uh, about 12 minutes or so. So let's try the basic one, the one that you just throw in the microwave before you go to work and stuff. I also have my or orange juice in case if this bitch is hot. Um, I'm gonna put this away. I'll let you guys know what my thoughts are. on like a sticker oh god a lot of stickers here um the tortilla is really good it tastes deep fried for sure but i haven't gotten the bean taste yet obviously the beans right here because they always start with the layer of uh they always start off with the layer of tortilla more and then they put the meat. That's why I don't like these burritos. But like I said, this could change depending on the burrito. Okay. Mmm. Nah. Mmm. Okay. That's not bad. Mm. Before I rate it, I need to try the other one. Everybody's saying, oh, it's fucking hot. I'm burning my ass off and this and that. <clears throat> it's not bad. Okay, obviously... <clears throat> to me the air fryer one's always going to be good always has that good crispiness to it that you want on a chimichanga but can I throw this in the microwave <clears throat> and not complain about it yeah I can um yeah I mean you don't have to wait extra minutes to taste something of this ghost pepper burrito you don't have to wait a couple minutes um it is really t it's tender it's good there's nothing i could complain about there's the rice the beans the chunks of chicken in it i thought the chicken was gonna taste like ass um but it's really tender it tastes like real chicken it's not it doesn't taste processed maybe it is processed i don't know um, the beans taste good. The rice, the salt tastes like a Mexican burrito. A hint of ghost pepper, but it's not bad. It's not going to kill you. <clears throat> but yeah, let me try this one real quick again. Very good. Mmm. Probably wonder how come you're drinking your drink? You're probably spiced up. I'm not spiced up. My nose is not running nothing. This is, it tastes, I don't know. I like to drink and eat. <laughs> this is my thing. It tastes good like that. Mmm. So, from this company that's surprising me right now, they probably have some other crazy ideas that are good. I have to find out. 
Um, these burritos are like a 9.5. Because the only thing I don't like is the, the, the tortilla overcoming the burrito. That's pretty much it. But yeah, hopefully you guys liked it. Stay tuned and peace.